Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ian Fins and welcome back to my YouTube and I know it's been a while since my last video as I'm really busy with my work. We've been doing a lot of concert coverage, event coverage, some commercial work and it's been really busy for us on 2019 but since now uh, I think most of us couldn't get out from the house because of the COVID-19. Uh, I have plenty of time now and I will, I will try to do at least uh, one or two video every week on my YouTube channel. And on today's episode, I would like to do a tutorial how to enlarge or how to make a gigantic object on your pictures. So let's say you have a pictures of uh, utensils, but you only want to enlarge only the spoons or only the forks to make it look gigantic. So this is one of the ways that you can do to achieve that. And as you can see, I have prepared my camera, my flashes, and my daughter Lego bricks for our today examples. It can be everything, uh, but I'm just gonna use this for today's example. There's a few things that you need to capture. One, you need to capture uh, all these blocks without the ducks. Two, you need to capture all the blocks with the ducks in the center, because uh, you need uh, the shadow reference. And three, you need to move forward the camera or you need to zoom the lens to capture only the ducks so you can have it uh, bigger on the pictures. So you need three images. And just to make sure that um, you set up this in a tripod, uh, the flashes is not necessary. You can just use a, a natural lighting. And the other thing is you need to make sure that you have a fixed uh, camera setting just to make sure that you have the same aperture, you have the same shutter speed, and if using flashes, you have the same power for all three images. So you can have a constant uh, images for all those three pictures. Okay, first thing first, I will take the pictures with the duck in the center. And just to make sure that uh, you set your camera in the timer, because I don't really have a steady uh, tripod. I'm using a very small tripod in here. That's why I'm using a timer, just to make sure that it doesn't shift around on my next images. And I will lock the focus on the duck. Here you go. And the second things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the duck from the table so you can have a clean shot of the backgrounds with the other bricks. And the last images that you need is the duck itself. And you need to move forward your camera so you can have a bigger pictures of the duck. Uh, if you're using a zoom lens, you can just zoom it. Uh, just make sure that it's sharp and I will zoom to the duck. I will lower my tripod a little bit. Okay, you have to make sure that the angles is about the same from the previous images, so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. Just to make sure that I have uh, identical angles. And now I have all my three images ready and I will show it to you how to do it in Photoshop. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so now we're in Photoshop. I have imported these three images in Photoshop. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to etch out this big duck image. And you can go to path layers, create a new path, go to pen tool and make a selection. Okay, just puff the edges just make sure that you do it nicely and clean if you have a walk home it'll be a lot easier but I'm using a mouse now it does the job Okay, we are done with the hardest part and and the next thing you need to do is you make a selection from this path tool. Go to select modify and feather to give a to give a soft edges. Select copy, control C and paste this image to the background image. Now you can see that 
the duck sits nicely on the background because it has the same perspective as the real one and the next thing you need to do is you need to create the shadow we have the reference that the shadow goes in front of the ducks and slightly to the right so we will try to imitate this with photoshop what you can do is you make a selection of the duck create new layers fill the selection with a bucket with a paint bucket uh, just paint it black if you close the layer we already have a a dark uh, black uh, duck so we're gonna use that for a background but uh, we need to copy this because we're gonna make two kind of shadow the one is the hard shadow I'm gonna name it that way and the other one is the soft shadow and I'm gonna name this as duck so first thing first we're gonna make a hard shadow okay uh, for hard shadow we just gonna need this bottom portion as you can see that all Legos has a very uh, dark shadow right underneath the object so we're gonna create that so I'm just gonna delete the top portion of the shadow there you go oops sorry so the so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete the top portion of the hard shadow we just gonna need the bottom part okay so gonna tape it a bit lower so you can see that we have a very decent dark shadow just gonna soften the edges I'm just gonna use a layer marks you can press layer marks in here and you're gonna erase it with layer marks with a brush make sure that it's in the black color uh, put the opacity maybe about 30% and you're gonna paint it on the edges so it looks real now we have the dark shadow ready uh, you can soften it a little bit by reducing this opacity looking good okay next I'm gonna create the soft shadow uh, you can go to this uh, soft shadow layers and you want to flip it the image so you can go to edit transform and distort just flip it around and slant it to the right turn on the first image okay you can rotate a little bit you can use ctrl t to rotate Okay, go to edit, transform and skew to adjust. Okay, I think we get the right directions. You can check the reference, it's something like that. And what you can do now is you want to blur out this black image. Go to filler, blur, Gaussian blur. Okay, just uh, blur it out. Something similar with the shadow beside the ducks. Okay, you have it blur out. Go to opacity and just make it softer. There you go. Okay then you can hit layer mask again because you want to soften all the edges to make it look real okay go to layer mask and use brush make sure it's in the black color then you brush it away Okay, you want to stretch the shadow a little bit longer. There you go. OK, 
Okay, I think we get it right. It looks okay. Okay, once you get the shadow right, the next thing you need to do is just clean up the images. Because if you if you see that my background is a little bit dirty, the Lego is a little bit dirty, uh, we can fix that easily in Photoshop. But before that, you need to flatten all the uh, layers first. Uh, you need to copy the background first. Select all the layers that you've been working on it. And go to new group from layers just to group, group it up first. Uh, so we have all the active layers. Then next what I normally do is I will copy the group layers and you can go to merge group. Then from here you can just clean up all the, the dirty images. Use puff tool. It's really easy. Just select the dirty background. Just shift it to the right. Okay, other than puff tool, you can always use a clone stem as well. If some of the area is really hot because it's near the Lego, you can use a clone stem. It's a lot easier. Just lower the opacity. Just lower the opacity a little bit. And you can use a clone stem. And it's done. Okay, so we are done for today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. And I'll see you till the next episode. Bye, guys.